Hello, it is Sunday and it's a new weekly reading vlog. I finished two books that broke me today. My face is still red from crying. Um, I, ma I did manage, I can take this out now. Um, I did manage to finish House of Sky and Breath on um, like this morning before my sprint started, literally with a couple of minutes to spare. Um, obviously five star again, I cried. So I was a bit red faced when I went on to my sprints. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then on my sprints, I carried on reading and press storms after I'd edited my vlog. And then Andy decided to do some evening sprints. So after dinner, I joined Andy's sprints and I finished Empire of Storms and came back from the sprint red faced and still crying a little bit. <laughs> And try to hide it there's a lot of blue in this book and I know some people find it quite spoilery but I will say this can't be a spoiler because I cry at happy and sad things so I'm not telling you which one it was all I'm telling you is that I cried a lot at this book but there was one bit in particular and again I'm not going to tell you what I had to take a picture highlight the line and send it to Ash because I was like, what? Because it's something that has never clicked before. <laughs> and yeah, um, this this reread has been a lot more eye opening and I'm here for it. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is the one I've tabbed the most out of the Throne of Glass books so far because this and Era Fire and Kingdom of Ash are my favourites. I'm going to say, I don't expect to... Um, I don't expect to tab Tower of Dawn as much because I don't like Tower of Dawn as much because it follows my least favourite character. Although then again, I said that about um, Crown of Midnight being my least favourite and I ended up tabbing that one quite a lot. So we'll see. But rereads complete. So I will get House of Flame and Shadow on Tuesday. So my goal for tomorrow is to read the entirety of Bloody Rose. Now, it is a little bit chunky. It's like just over 500 pages. However, it's only five hours on Audible on the speed that I listen. <laughs> so I'm going to listen to this tomorrow and this will get read. Um, and then Tuesday will be House of Flame and Shadow. And then Wednesday, I'm going to have a day off reading because I deserve it after this month. Because I've read a lot of chunky books. I've read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chunky, eight chunky books. So I'm going to give myself a break. I will probably use Wednesday evening to just film. And that's it. Um, and then maybe watch some TV or something to decompress. But anyway... I will catch up with you tomorrow where I will be able to tell you I've finished this because I am going to read the entirety of this. So yeah. Hello, it is Monday. Monday. <laughs> um, really quick update because I am tired, but I read the entirety of Bloody Rose by Nicholas Ames today. I enjoyed this. This was a four star. I didn't enjoy it as much as Kings of the Wild. I was saying to Ash, I feel like he hasn't written these female characters as well as he wrote his male characters in the first book. And it was a bit of a disappointment. It was a lower four star than the first book. And in particular, Kira, I wanted to be so invested in her character, but I was just so bored. There wasn't enough for me. So yeah, bit of a disappointment, but I am looking forward to reading the third book, which I think is coming out this year. Um, but yeah, did suck a little bit because it's sapphic and it's fantasy, but it just wasn't as good as I was expecting. But oh well. And then I wasn't going to read anything else until tomorrow when I get House of Flame and Shadow. However, my library hold, I realised, of Mighty Nine Origins... Caleb Woodagast was available and this was only like 56 pages and it's a graphic novel so I read this this was a five star 
Are we shocked? No. Um, Caleb's backstory is so sad. It's not as sad as Knott's. But it is sad. But also not the saddest. I love Caleb though. Caleb is Liam's character in campaign two. Um, but yeah, it was, it was cool seeing because even though I kind of knew what happened in Caleb's past. I obviously didn't know the lead up to what happens in his past. So that was interesting. Um, and yeah, that was today. And then me and Ash just had a FaceTime. We booked a couple of tables for Disney because I don't actually think I said this, but last week we put the deposit for our Disneyland Paris holiday. We are going in December for our anniversary. And because we're staying on one of the hotels on site, um, we can book our tables for like some of the restaurants now. Um, so we've booked some of those and I'm very excited. We're both very, very excited. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Tomorrow, I, I feel like the only update you're getting is once I finish House of Flame and Shadow because my plan is I'm going to get up as though I was getting up to get ready to log on for work. Um, I do have tomorrow off and because my, aud my audio book will not come through until 8am. So I'm going to get up, I'm going to make a good sized breakfast, have that, have my coffee and then at 8am put the audio book on. I'm not ready but I'm so excited. This is probably my most anticipated book of the year. Um, hence why I've taken a day off work to read it. Um, I am a little bit annoyed because I ordered the physical book through my work account and it's not being dispatched until tomorrow. Tell me why it's being dispatched on the day of release and not the day before. Like if it's dispatched the day before release, it's not getting to anyone until the day of release. It's not going to be same day delivery. So I'm a little bit annoyed <laughs> because I'm not going to get my physical copy until at the earliest Wednesday. And I was hoping to be able to read physically with the audio, but that's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, bit annoyed about that. I think next time, screw the staff discount. I'm going to just order through Waterstones because everyone else seems to be getting their Waterstones ones tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to go. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. House of Flame and Shadow Day. Hello, it is Tuesday. Happy House of Flame and Shadow today. Today? Day. It is 8.34. I have had breakfast. I have had coffee. I have the audiobook ready to go. I have a two litre bottle of water, multiple different pairs of headphones in case I want to switch to wireless. I am ready to dive in. My phone's going on do not disturb. And I guess I'll see you in 10 hours. <laughs> I will say, other than my star rating, I will only say spoilers if I do the, the warning thing. Um, apart from that, I will not be given any spoilers because this is a safe space. I'm not going to do that to you. If there's going to be a spoiler, you're going to know and know to mute. So yeah, I'll see. I'll see you in 10 hours. Hello. It is a lot later. I finished reading House of Flame and Shadow a couple of hours ago. Um, and I just, I, I couldn't do a vlog clip. I am exhausted because I sat there for 10 hours reading a book. You can see my, my face. I don't know what's going on. 10 hours. <laughs> um, this was a five star. Are we shocked? No. Um, I'm not going to actually talk spoilers. I'm just going to talk some thoughts. So I'm going to hold my hand up because I know some people don't even want any thoughts. Um, so I'm going to hold my hand up. There's not going to be any spoilers for what happens in it. But just in case you don't want anything, I'll put my hand down when I finish talking about it. So, 
I've not spoken about my theories for this reason because I can now say I was not correct in quite a few of my theories. They were wild theories anyway. I was shocked at the direction this went in because it didn't match up with like most of my theories but in the best way because it was done so well and I was really glad of the direction it went. Um, I am absolutely obsessed with this book and I cannot wait to read it again. Um, so yeah, five stars. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, but yeah, I am a little bit annoyed my physical copy didn't, it's not even been dispatched. So clearly ordering with my work account meant nothing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's fun. I am very glad I pre-ordered the audiobook. Um, but yeah, I am drained. So I am going to go to bed. I am probably not going to give you an update tomorrow because I'm not reading anything tomorrow. After reading an 848 page book today, I'm giving myself a day off tomorrow. I'm going to probably film my wrap up so that that's done. But, um... Apart from that, I'm probably just going to watch some Critical Role and just have some downtime before my massive February TBR. Yay! <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan. So I'll catch up with you now on Thursday when I make a start on my February TBR. Hello, it is Thursday. The only reason I'm wearing makeup is because I filmed two videos this evening. I did not wear makeup for work um but it is the 1st of february which means it's the start of series tbr -a which is being hosted by tori um and the first book that i'm tackling is hero at the fall i am halfway through i'm really enjoying this i had to read a recap of book two because <laughs> i read book two in either 2017 or 2018 been quite a long time so I read a series like not series recap I read a book recap of book two and then I started this um but I'm really enjoying it there's a lot happening like I had forgotten just how much happens in this series and there is a lot going on right now <laughs> but I'm enjoying being back in this world I'm a bit annoyed I've waited this long but here we are um Yesterday I didn't like give you any updates so I couldn't um I couldn't show you but I got some stickers for my plan out because there were little book and kindle and like little audio book thing like stickers that you get with the little inkling planners but there's not enough so I found this this website, it's not a website, it's on Etsy, called New New and Bob. And they do loads of different stickers. They do them for everything, not just bookish stuff. They do like gym ones, food tracking ones, life tracking ones. Um, but I got the books. So there's two different books. There's the closed book and then there's the open book. And then I got the Kindle because um, I want to like keep track and I only got one sheet of each because I was like I'm not sure exactly how big they're gonna be but I want to like I'm thinking dangerous I know um of like I don't think I'm gonna have space but somehow putting on this page what is an ebook and what is a thingy or even on like this page I don't know yet I haven't figured that much out but there was only a couple of quid each and then they didn't have an audiobook one they had a headphone one but I wanted headphone with books um, and I found this other Etsy store that had them and these ones came today um, so let's... they added a few extra ones which is cute um, but yeah this is this place is it's simply bizarre again they have an Etsy store. Um, if I remember, I will put the Etsy links. These are not sponsored. I literally just 
was looking for stickers on Etsy and I found these stores and liked them and they were UK based. Um, but these are the audiobooks. These are actually a little bit bigger than I was hoping because they're bigger. They're like almost double the size of the other ones, but it's fine. Um, I might use these ones for something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then I also, these came at the weekend and I completely forgot to show you guys but chloe from clary's books um does patreon bookmarks well not just patreon but she does bookmarks and she released two new ones so first up on once on on both of these on one side it has chloe reads books but then this one has cozy reading time so there's like a jumper a candle a pile of books with a, a hot drink it's very cute but this is my favorite one because this is so chloe Screw it, I'm getting Chinese food. If you know Chloe, she has a habit of saying that. And we got Chinese at the weekend and then we got Chinese today because we've been fancying Chinese because of this bookmark. So thank you, Chloe, for being a bad but great influence. Um, but this is the bookmark I'm using at the moment. <laughs> I've just had to like put my stickers in there so I could show you the bookmark, but now chinese food bookmark back in the book um so that's the bookmark i'm using at the moment um but yeah i also i'm very excited to try these out i got some loop earphones which they're green my brand um i got the quiet i don't know if there's any difference between them but this is the mint color but i i haven't figured out what size of the actual earbuds i need but i'm gonna give these a go so i got them mostly for like when it's really windy or really rainy it is so loud in my room and I can't get to sleep and wearing earphones is really uncomfortable um so I got them for this because these are designed to block out some noise so I need to test these out but I also don't want it to be really stormy I have a hundred they do this thing where it's like a hundred day um hassle-free returns so if you're not happy within 100 days you can return them um but i'm hoping i won't have to and if they help i'm also going to take these to concerts and i actually have a you meet six concert on the 14th of february so i'm going to take them there and we'll see how good they are um, and how comfy they are but i'm very excited because i've been seeing a lot of people say how good these are so yeah I'm also thinking if they work, I'm going to take them into work for um, the days where the office is quite full and it's quite loud because it's very, very distracting. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. I say like I haven't just given loads of updates. Um, my goal for tomorrow is to finish Hero at the Fall and edit. And then Saturday, I need to do a lot of filming and then in the evening I'm just gonna relax with the book and yeah I'm gonna see if I can get a really good head start on my TBR um because obviously I am at Ashes for two weeks and there's quite a few books that I don't need to take with me because she has them so I can always just borrow hers so I'm gonna try and get a head start on the other books that she doesn't have so I don't have to take that many books with me I will need to take some books because I think there's only like four that she has and I'm going to need more than four books for two weeks so I'm going to figure out which books I'm going to take but yeah I am going to go because I'm tired I need to get this lot off and then go to bed so yeah I'll catch up with you tomorrow hello it is Saturday I am really tired. I have had a super busy day. Um, I did not vlog yesterday because I didn't read anything. Um, so I ended up with a really bad headache. Um, and I had to obviously work and then during my lunch break, I had to edit two videos. And then I had to plan one of the videos I wanted to film today. And I was just, I was exhausted and I had a headache. So I didn't read anything yesterday. And then today, I got five videos filmed. <laughs> like what? <laughs> um, 
Um, so tomorrow's going to be fun with editing. Um, but I also did manage to finish Hero at the Fall. Um, this was a four star, a really high four star. I'd really enjoyed this. Um, I I do wonder if maybe I would have enjoyed it more if I had read it back when I read book two but we're never gonna know um because I didn't do that um but I did really enjoy it um so much happened in this I can't take this out yet because I need to work out how many pages I read today to put in my planner but um but yeah so much happened in this and my mind is still reeling a little bit from everything that happened but it was so well done and I really enjoyed the direction everything went into even if some decisions that Owen Hamilton made made me cry um this is really good and i'm really glad i finally read it thank you caroline for giving me this book as my 12 books of 2024 because i've completed a series go me um this for series tbr -a -thon is the first prompt on the bingo board which is finish a completed series and i've done that so tick that um I did I was hoping to get something else started at least tonight but it's not happening it is half 10 and I am tired and I also have a bit of a headache again hence why I'm wearing my glasses um I would like to hurry up and do this clip so that I can turn my ring light off um anyway so I have decided I want to try and do all 25 prompts on this bingo board I don't know why I'm doing this to myself because considering how chunky some of them are but here we are um so one of the options was poll pick that like the next one along is poll pick your for your next series book so what I did I went on to Twitter so I did a poll and I did three emojis um so the first one was the little like theater masks which is the backstages volume three um then it was a dice emoji which was die volume two and then the little family was spy family volume two um so as you can see um die one <laughs> um so i will be reading this in february um probably my next read i'm probably gonna like try and bust this out tomorrow um because i can probably do it in one sprint maybe we'll see um but then I also did something else. Um, so one of the other prompts a bit further down is spin a wheel for your next pick. Um, so I just put these two on a wheel and this is the wheel. It was between Backstages and Spy Family and the winner was Spy Family. Um, so that's being read. And I feel like the universe just doesn't want me to read this after the struggle getting it. But I am going to do something else i'm not going to do it until later on in the month um so there is a um, number generator for your for your next pick um so what i'm going to do for that i'm going to have this and have another book probably something is killing the children volume seven um and i am gonna roll a d20 and if it's an even number it'll be one of the books and if it's an odd number it'll be the other one so we might still get this, although I do kind of want something to and the children to win. I'm reading them both anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, so that is that plan. I have already rolled my, done my rolls for my TBR game for March because um, with it being Marvelathon, I want to have a proper plan in place. Um, so I have done my rolls. So I know what five books I'm reading for that. And those five books will definitely fit at least one Marvelathon prompt. So that is good. Um, so yeah, that is basically my update for you today. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to go. I'm going to go to sleep. Because tomorrow I've got a long day of editing on my sprints. And that's going to be fun. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.